What is going on guys, Joe here from Anchor Athletics, and first before I get started, I want to apologize for the nasal sound that my voice is making right now. I'm clearly sick, um, so I do apologize, just bear with me, but the thing I want to talk about today is intermittent fasting, and this is something that is a huge topic of conversation right now with Kino Body, other fitness professionals out there, social media experts, um, just talking about how intermittent fasting is the way to go, it's what you need to be doing, and I definitely think it's a useful tool to basically just restrict yourself um, to a, a feeding window, essentially, which will allow you to then be able to satiate yourself more or just feel more full when you are eating because you're eating larger quantities at the times you are eating in the day. And this literally just comes down to not eating for a select portion of the day. And of course, you're going to be able to eat more than when you are eating during your feeding window. So essentially, a way you could go about intermittent fasting and one of the most common ways is to obviously not eat anything after you go to sleep for the night. And then when you wake up in the morning, continue that nightly fast essentially um, for a few more hours, depending upon how long you can go, how long you are recommended to go or how long you just find the most benefit. And that could be, like I said, anywhere from two hours when you wake up, three hours, four hours, five hours. Some people fast a lot more than others. It really, like I said, just all depends on the person. But a typical one I like to give the example for people would be you go to bed at like 10 o'clock, your last meal was at like 8 or 9 or whatever, and then you woke up and you then fasted at from 8 o'clock when you woke up or whatever until noon. Then from noon until 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or whatever I said, you have that 8 or 9 hour feeding window where you're actually eating your full day's worth of calories, but you're only eating them from 12 noon when you started eating to 8 or 9 p.m. like I said. And that's just a specific example. There's no, that's not magical or anything like that. You could start your feeding window at 10 and make it till five or whatever. But that's just what I think is most realistic just to give you guys some context. What I find the reason why someone would want to do this or why I would recommend this to a client for one would be someone who has trouble feeling like they're not eating or feeling satiated, um, feeling like they're not eating enough during the times that they're eating. Or maybe they really enjoy eating breakfast or lunch and then by eight o'clock at night, they're super, super hungry because they don't have a lot of food left. So this is typically for someone who maybe is really busy in the morning and is trying to be into that caloric deficit stage where they're literally burning more calories than they're eating. This will help you get into that deficit in some cases. For the other side of the spectrum, if you're trying to put on weight, not eating until noon will put a huge damper on your ability to just get in the necessary amount of calories that you need by the end of the day. So for someone like myself where I have literally just have to eat like five or six times, not because it's magical or um, eating more frequently has an effect on your metabolism. There's nothing like that at all. It's literally quite honestly because I can eat more and I can hit the amounts that I need by eating more frequently but smaller meals just simply because my appetite is not the biggest. So I couldn't eat three big huge meals to hit my macros, hit my protein and my calories for the day. So point being, it really comes down to what your goals are, what your life is like and really just what you enjoy because a lot of people and myself included, I'm actually fasted right now and if I fast too long, like I said, it creates a problem for me where I'm not able to actually hit my macros or my calories and protein by the end of the day because I just literally am too full. I've, I'm trying to jam too much food in a small window. But I do like to fast for a few hours in the morning because I literally feel more cognition. My brain feels more focused. I feel like I can get a lot more done. So I like to get a lot of my brunt of my work done for the day, get my computer work done, answer clients, and I do all those sorts of things while I'm fasted. So it's not for any magical reason as in terms of fat loss at all. It's actually for me more, like I said, I feel more clarity and focus when I'm fasted. So anyways, as far as one more area I want to talk about, fasted workouts are something that a lot of people wonder about. And I typically will not recommend a fasted workout to reap the most benefit from your actual strength and just output of the workout. So what I mean by that is you going to the gym fasted you're definitely not gonna be at your top end strength. You're not gonna have that push that you normally would if you had a, a full meal before you went, especially a, a, a meal that you're normally accustomed to and that you found ratios that work best for you in terms of the amount of protein, carbs, and fats, and even how long or how soon you're eating that meal before your workout. You're 100% gonna be stronger if you eat, if you're in a fed state. But, like I said, when I've done fasted workouts, especially running, um, not necessarily lifting, 
then I actually do feel that focus and clarity and cognition that I do. And I even feel it when I'm lifting fasted, but like I said, I do not feel the strength that I would feel if I did have a meal within me um, and I was in a fed state rather than fasted during a lifting workout. So I think that that has some merit to it um, for people who work out in the morning first thing. That might be something you're you're kind of feeling. And if you did um, kind of push your workout a little later in the day or at least push it back, I think you would notice some benefits where you're actually just going to feel stronger. Um, but I can tell you damn well that you're going to make progress even in a fasted state. You're just not going to be at that peak level of performance when you step into the gym. But I made the most of my gains in two years while I was in school. Um, I was going to community college around here and I would wake up every day first thing in the morning to get my workout done. I wake up at like 5 a.m. Um, and I was getting it done. And that was really, like I said, when I made the most progress. The rest of the day I was eating like a savage because I was so hungry after my workout, but I would take my pre-workout, I would go, and that was it. Like I said, definitely some diminishing returns in terms of the amount of output I'm able to, to produce in the gym when I'm fasted, but you can definitely still make progress. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I just wanted to make an overview video on kind of my views on intermittent fasting. Right now, there's not any definitive research about um, some of the, like, the health side of benefits other than fat loss and just calorie restriction and being able to manipulate it based on your goals. There is research coming out, and I will make another video on that once I learn a little bit more and once there's some more definitive research out on it, but who knows when that will be. This is what my opinion is right now. If you guys have any research or if you have any questions or have any opinions on things, leave them below. I would love to hear them. But otherwise, like I said, guys, hopefully this helps you guys out in some fashion, helps you educate yourself a little bit more on intermittent fasting and what role it might have in your life. Anyways, drop a like if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I appreciate you guys still watching. If you are, I'll talk to you very soon. Peace out.